A new person is in charge of the Otago Regional Civil Defence and Emergency Management Group. Chris Hawker has shifted from Christchurch to take up the role of group manager and he joins us now to talk about it. Good evening. Good evening, Ruby. What are your main responsibilities in this new role? The new role has been created to provide strategic leadership and management of the Otago Regional Civil Defence and Emergency Management Group. I know it's a very long mm. title, but uh, Emergency Management Otago, easier. Mm. Who's involved in the group? The, um, the group is, is led um, and funded by, or the group is funded by the Otago Regional Council and the partners involved are all of the territorial authorities for Otago, so Waitaki, Clutha, Central Otago, Queenstown Lakes and of course Dunedin City. Hmm. Now you used to work in Christchurch where you set up an emergency management program. Can you tell us a bit about that? Sure, yeah I joined the University of Canterbury in 2006 and one of the tasks that I was given as, as operational head was to look at the resilience um, of the university and to go through and develop a program that would protect the university and respond in any great event. So we spent four years uh, understanding what the risks were, developing the capabilities, um, preparing for something that we hoped would never happen um, and unfortunately did. Mm. What did you learn from those earthquakes? Um, I learnt that there is no cavalry. I learnt that we have to be resilient individually. Um, as communities we have to be resilient. Uh, we were in a situation where, with a population of about 16,000, 17,000 people on the university campus, we were pretty much on our own and we had developed our processes to account for that. Um, but for a very large part of the time we were literally in command of our, of our own fortunes. And we survived quite well because of the preparation that we've done. Mm. What are you hoping to achieve in this new role? to contribute to the improved resilience of the Otago region. So the work that I'm doing um, with the partners in the Civil Defence Group, with the Ministry of Civil Defence, um, with all of the partners involved in this, is to help contribute towards the resilience of Otago. So basically the safety and security of the people of the, the region. What are the main emergency and civil defence concerns here? In Dunedin, it's very much like the rest of the country. We have very much the same sorts of things. We have storms, we have earthquakes, we have landslips, we've got flooding, we have tsunami risk. Every so often Chile sends us a, a calling card. Mm. We suffer from all the same sorts of things. From a regional base, uh, it's, the flooding is probably one of the biggest problems, whether it's weather related or whether it's sea related. Uh, it's one of the things that seems to be increasing considerably. Mm. Is climate change affecting emergency management? It's affecting it insofar as the prevalence of the events are more regular. We have to be more prepared for them mm. uh, and we have to take the fact that we're going to have to respond to these more seriously. Mm. How can the community become more resilient? Uh, it starts with personal resilience. It starts with uh, our individual ability to look after ourselves, our own families, um, our friends and the things that we hold dear uh, because as I said before there is no cavalry when something major happens to every large degree you have to rely on your own uh, preparations and on your own wits. Mm. Chris Hawker, uh, Manager of the Otago Civil Defence Emergency Group, thank you very much for your time. You're welcome.